Hey everyone, so I have a new uh, quick review for you today and it's on this bad boy here which is one of the Tom Ford lipsticks. This is in the shade Crimson Noir number 11. I think there's 18 shades altogether in the range and they have a lot of limited edition ones then that come out throughout the year. But it's this beautiful um, red guy here. Now it looked deeper in the swatch online and it kind of sounds deeper with the name like Crimson Noir you'd think it'd be a lot deeper but it doesn't come out quite as dark as I thought but it's still a lovely lovely red. It comes out like that which is almost more like a pinky red. Kind of reminds me of maybe MAC Red um, like the actual shade MAC Red by MAC uh, even though it's not quite as shiny as that but it's in that kind of same line. Now it still is a blue based red so it's still going to be really good for keeping your teeth looking white and stuff like that but it's not the deep dark more kind of burgundy red that I thought it would be. Again going on the name crimson is usually a darker colour and then noir obviously black but it's still lovely and I just wear it over darker lip liners to, um, to adjust that. Now I'll show you the packaging of this guy first. It has this really beautiful sleek square um, you know really angular very very expensive looking packaging and it is very expensive. This guy costs 46 euro here in Ireland. You get it in Brown Thomas in Dublin and in Cork I think you can't get it in Galway or in Limerick as far as I know. You know it's probably the most expensive lipstick I've ever owned in my life and I really just wanted to see what the kind of crack was with it if it was really worth the hype and stuff like that so so it has the Tom Ford logo at the top in the kind of goldy part it has some of the information on the bottom and of course it's a black and gold um, like colouring and the actual bullet here now I've used it enough that it's gone down a bit but it did have the same like TF indentation in the actual tip of the bullet which I think was really cool and it, again it kind of just adds, adds to the luxury of it it comes in this almost black box which has the gold writing on it again. So I think there's something about black and gold. I think that is really luxurious and it has all the ingredients on the outside. Now these are touted as being luxury lipsticks. Now in regards to the ingredients, it does contain um, loads of really hydrating and lip conditioning ingredients. And as it's described on the website, it contains some like rare and exotic ingredients. Those ingredients now that they're referring to are Brazilian murumuru butter. You have soya seed extract and chamomilla flower oil. So they just sound like they're all going to be really hydrating, really conditioning on the lips. It also contains castor oil. It has lanolin in it, it has loads of other waxes and it contains squalene which is a really extremely hydrating product and um, loads of other like flower seed oils and shea butter and stuff like that so it is full of really really hydrating ingredients. Now the main thing about this is that it's super creamy and smooth when you put it on the lips. It really does feel really luxurious. I'm going to go back to that word again and again but it's so true. It's very very creamy. It, it would want to be to be honest for the price but it, it goes on beautifully. It doesn't in any way dry out the lips but even though it keeps the lips hydrated it doesn't disappear like a lot of those ones can. It has very very good pigmentation which you can probably see that and it's a, kind of a satin finish I'd call it. It has a bit of luminosity to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop it on my lips for you. Now I don't wear lipstick without using a lip primer so I'm just going to pop on this new guy that I'll probably do a video on soon. It's the Sally Hansen Plumping, Plumping Lip Primer. And I'm just going to use it the same way with the MAC one. So you just put it all over the lips and um, leave that on for a second. Then I'm just going to use a slightly deeper, like more burgundy red. This is Auburn by MAC because I do like to deepen the colour a little bit. I'm just going to pop that all over my lips. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop on the lipstick. So sometimes I like to blot the centre of my lips a little bit when I have a lot of lip primer on or when I have a lot of lip pencil on. And then I usually apply this first of all just straight from the bullet. And then I'm just going to use a lip brush to perfect the outline and to really press it in place. So there you have it, that's the lipstick on Over Auburn Lip Pencil by MAC. You can see it has a lovely, very um, low shine gloss, as in like it's not too 
gloopy or silly looking like it has just a nice medium gloss or luminosity or reflection to it which I really really love it would remind me maybe of some of is it the creme sheens by MAC like like hang up um you know one of those ones where they're quite like right light reflective something like that from MAC it's a bit like the creme sheens maybe like a creme sheen meets a satin finish lipstick but again it's hard to explain it just has a much more luxurious finish it does feel so conditioning and lovely and creamy on the lips um it's so so comfortable you don't really feel the weight of it at all i just think it's such a lovely lovely lipstick um, if i did have to come up with a negative it would be that the name i think is quite misleading calling it a crimson noir that's being a bit picky but you would assume it's a lot darker because that's not particularly crimson um because I just think that would be something much brighter than what I would assume it would be. But again, that's me being just a little bit niggly. Other than, that, Other than that, it's a beautiful lipstick. Now, as to whether it's worth the 46 euro or not, it's a luxury brand. It's Tom Ford. So, you know, there's nothing kind of shocking about it. It's what you're going to pay. And, I mean, it's worth more than twice the price of a MAC, normal MAC lipstick, which is quite a lot. And I wouldn't say... I think if it was a case of you either had 46 quid to do you for groceries for the week or you wanted to buy this, I'd probably pick the groceries. But if you have the money and it's something that's not going to put you out, definitely go for it because it's something really nice to have. Just a few of these uber high-end luxury things in your makeup collection if you are a, like a makeup fiend like myself. I would recommend it if you're looking for something really lovely and luxurious. Um just to have on your lips to have like one a really good lipstick for special occasions or whatever like like that and that's it so i hope this was helpful guys i will be um filming more of these kind of single product reviews in the coming months and year and all that because i think sometimes it can get a little bit too crowded when i do loads of products in one video so i hope this was helpful thanks for watching i'll chat to you soon so long guys